Hello everybody, welcome to another video for our 2019 Caden Live Beginner Tutorial Series. So my name is Vic, I will be your host today. If we haven't met, it's nice to meet you. I hope that you are having a great day. Alright, so last time we talked about transitions and all that stuff, uh, adding transitions to your clips. Today we are going to talk about titles. So titles are just basically text, adding text onto your video, okay? So I've opened up a uh, Kden Live uh, window here and I've set up the project at 1080p, 25 frames per second. Now, setting it up correctly uh, from the beginning is important because it's gonna play a part in making our titling a lot easier, okay? Because we know the resolution. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm just going to load up a video here, which is going to serve as our basic video background. All right, so it's pretty simple. It's just waves crashing. Okay. Now, let's add a basic title. So the way that we do that is you just go to a project bin, add title clip. And this is our titling window. Um, we can add different things. We can add text, rectangle, we can add an image. We can open a, a saved uh, title document and we can uh, save it as a title template, okay? So we'll just do the basic text one, so really easy. All right, so this um, space, this checkerboard space represents the space of your video, okay? The area of your video. So wherever you place your title is the position where your video is going to get, oh sorry, your your title is going to get placed in your video. All right, so let's demonstrate that. So we'll add a title text here. This is just going to be a simple one. Good morning. Okay. Now I did change the, um, you can change the, uh, the fonts. Okay, so let's just change it to something maybe a little bit more interesting. Uh, we'll just go with this one maybe, yeah, that should be okay. We can change the uh, size, all right, changed it to 96. We can change the color to something else if we wanted, you know, purple. Well, I usually like to just keep it clean. White titles are always great looking. And we can do uh, different things like adding a shadow. I want a shadow, don't want an outline, maybe. Uh, Maybe not, we'll just keep it at zero. Uh, we can do different alignments. Now I use this quite often, okay, just to align things properly. So we just want this in the middle, okay? So we can align it to the middle horizontally, align it to the middle vertically, okay? If you're a little bit OCD. All right, let's say we're happy with that. Press okay, that's our title clip. And we can add it onto our video timeline. So, when we play that, there's our title, okay? As you can see, it gets a bit washed out um, with the white on white. It's pretty easy to edit. So just right click onto your title clip here, edit clip, and I just wanna move that down at the bottom, okay? And I do want it aligned to the middle though. So there we go, press okay. Let's say you're happy with that. We can rename this to something else. Okay, um, let's just say I want to rename it to the main title. And I like to use numbers just so that I know where that uh, title clip is going to be relatively in the video and that it's easy for me to look for them. Okay, all right. Now, a lot of people will want to add what you call a lower third. Okay, so lower third title could be something like your logo on there or maybe your Instagram handle you know, something that just gets displayed onto the bottom of the screen. Now there's more advanced ways to do that and we'll cover that maybe in a different video, but we'll just do it basically in here, like within Caden Live, okay? I would actually use a different tool for making some of the more advanced stuff, but let's go ahead and do that. Let's add another title clip, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to create a rectangle. So this is where your resolution comes in quite handy. All right, so I'm gonna create this rectangle. I'm just gonna move this to the bottom 
and I know I can adjust the uh, dimensions here okay so we know that resolution is 1920 by 1080 so this would be 1920 width okay so that way it's smack onto the end to end okay again OCD right so we'll align that to the middle and I want to align that to the bottom okay so there you go so it's aligned to the bottom we can add a text on here. So let's say I want to just add my Instagram handle. Okay. Um, we'll leave the font like that. We'll just maybe change this to 72, a little bit smaller. Okay. Now we can also add an image. Okay. Now with images, I've noticed that PNG files always work great PNG files have a transparent background so we can add it and it has transparency already okay you can also add a JPEG file if you want uh, but you may not have the transparency of the background now the way that we would resize this is actually through the top window here it is automatically set to preserve the ratio okay so let's just resize it to maybe 150 uh, that looks pretty good maybe a little bit smaller, maybe a hundred. Yeah. All right, I can move that there. To move it to fine tune, you can use your keyboard, okay, to move it left to right to fine tune the, uh, the movement, okay, if you're not so accurate with the mouse. There we go. Now, sometimes um, you can raise and lower, you may need to raise and lower an object, okay? So say for example you created the text first and then the box later, uh, you can, you know, lower the object, okay? So that way, so if it looks like that, if, if it's being covered up, I can select the rectangle and then I can move the rectangle to the bottom, okay? And that way everything is above it, alright? Um, Another thing I want to cover with the rectangle is you can change the uh, transparency and the color, okay? So this one's a little bit clunky, but anyway, I'll show you how to do it. So uh, let's say I want to change it to like a blue, okay? Like an aqua blue, all right? And I want to set the transparency to maybe around like a little over 50%. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this number, okay? Control C, copy that. And I'll show you why that's important, okay? So say I selected that. And that's what it looks like. I'll press okay. And we'll check that out what that looks like. And say I don't like the transparency. Say I want it to be a little bit more transparent. I want to see more of the sand. So I can edit this clip but then when I click on that rectangle to change the color, okay, to add it here, it resets it back to that default value. So that's why I told you to copy and paste it, you know, to copy it so that I have it again, okay. So press tab there to set it to that color, and then I can change the transparency. Anyway, just, you know, not all software is, is perfect, but that's just one of the workarounds for that, okay. So there we go. So that transparency is a lot lighter now. I can see the background. Okay. Say I'm happy with that. That's cool. I can also add transitions onto my titles. Okay. So we already showed you this last time. Quick way to do that is just mouse over to the corner. Okay. You can add a default dissolve. Okay. Right. Now, if you have like a logo or watermark that you want to place onto your video that plays through the entire length, that's pretty simple to add as well. We'll add another title clip here. Um, I'm just um, I'm just gonna load up an image that I created earlier. Okay, it just says my logo, right? And let's say I want that logo to be somewhere here. I'll change a bit of the size, it's a bit too big, maybe 400, okay, 
let's say it's over there and it's I just want that to play through the entire length of the video okay so this is where like naming your title clips are important so as you can see it's the name named the same so I'll just rename this uses this lower and I'll rename this number three let's just put that as logo okay now if I want this to play the entire length I need to place it on the top okay and then extend it out to the end of the video okay and that way when I play it it's gonna show up my logo up there okay so that's pretty much it guys for titles uh, this are just the basics um, some of the more advanced titles we were we are going to use an external program for that so I will show that to you in an, the next video so that this one's not too long but anyway everything that you need to do for titles inside Kden live these are the basics and you can do them right here anyway that's it for me Thank you very much. If you like the content of this video, please give me a like or give me a subscribe. I will be putting out more videos in the future. Until then, I will see you later. If you have any comments or questions, write them up in the comment sections. All right, I'll see you. Bye-bye.